Hello, my name is Wilson Cardwell, Miami University 2008 graduate with a BA in psychology and a minor in applied ethics. Um, I can attribute much of my trajectory in life to um, a few individuals from Miami University um, and the faculty and staff. Um, first being Dr. Leonard Mark. He was a cognitive psychology professor at Miami and um, after coming off of a really rough freshman year and spending a semester at home, I uh, took his Intro to Cognitive Psychology course, where the first thing I did was failed his first exam. Um, and he took that as a, an opportunity to provide me with a learning moment, a teachable moment. Um, and instead of kind of coming down on me, he you know talked to me about my strengths and where he saw that uh, I was doing really well and where I could improve. and. From that, it blossomed to into a really great relationship full of a lot of mentorship and, and various opportunities for me academically, um, which I always really appreciated and still keep in touch with him to this day. Um, and then the, the next you know, area is the Office of Community Engagement and Service. I uh, started volunteering in the office as a junior, as an uh, America Reads tutor. Um, I did that for two years, and then in the summer between um, the end of my senior year and then uh, this, right before the start of uh, another semester to make up, um, I took on an internship uh, in Hamilton with the Living Waters Ministry where um, I was thoroughly t challenged um, and was able to really develop a lot of hands-on um, experience working with young people. Um, even though I was a psychology major, I, I hadn't studied anything in education um, and wasn't very much interested in the pathology aspect of psychology. Um, but that uh, experience very much made me more passionate about wanting to learn more and how I could best serve uh, marginalized youth. Um, after graduating from Miami, I moved to Boston where I served for a year as an AmeriCorps VISTA um, with a literacy and mentoring nonprofit. From there, I moved to Indianapolis where I worked as a, a tutor um, in the Indianapolis area. And then I went back to Miami where I spent another year as an AmeriCorps VISTA um, in the Office of Community Engagement and Service. Um, it was a space that had given me so much as an undergrad. I felt it was only appropriate that I, you know, kind of give back a year of service. Um, but with that came uh, another amazing growth opportunity and getting to work with um, the person who nominated me, Jesse Wiesner, as well as two amazing um, faculty members and Dr. Tammy Shorts and uh, Dr. Lee Harrington. Um, between the three of them and then the former director, Monica Ways, I uh, was able to do a lot for the university, got a lot of students engaged in service, led a number of urban plunges and community service opportunities, uh, was able to uh, co-facilitate some curriculum with Dr. Schwartz and Dr. Harrington, and that really kind of gave me the confidence that um, education was where I needed to be, urban education specifically in that um, I had something, um, I had a, a lot to learn, but a, also a lot to, to teach others. Uh, so after that year, um, my wife and I moved back to Boston, uh, where I've been working as a program manager for the last four years. Uh, the previous three with a, a, a nonprofit that focuses on uh, college access and high school success for Boston public school youth. And, you know, through that program every year, I was able to work with 900 BPS students um, and helping, you know, many of them um, make college a reality when before it, it just didn't seem possible. Uh, I, I saw a lot of my, my experiences, my own personal um, life and their stories, and um, it really kind of propelled me to want to find a way to be even more involved in the school systems. So. Uh, last year, I decided to go back to school. Um, it was something I always had wanted to do, uh, and I applied to a number of colleges in the Boston area and was fortunate enough to be accepted to Harvard University's Graduate School of Education. Um, I'm currently in the Prevention Science and Practice strain where I'm studying to become a school counselor. And um, it was something that when I think back to as an undergrad, it was something that I was always curious about doing, but much later in my life, um, I very much wanted to be a professor and I very much wanted to work in a lab and I still have aspirations to be a professor, but I also recognize that right now I have a very unique opportunity and experience to 
um, give back to young people in the same way in which um, many people um, invested in me uh, as an undergrad. And so um, I, I, I look forward to my journey. I, I look forward to getting to come back to campus and reconnect with uh, many of the uh, professors and faculty members who had a profound impact on my life and to just show them that uh, their time and effort, well, it was well spent. Um, I'm now at, at Harvard with a full scholarship um, as an urban scholar, and um, I can't wait to see what life brings next. And I look forward to sharing this with students who possibly don't know what they want to do um, after they graduate, which is very much where I was, um, and just kind of uh, talk to them about, you know, relationships are very much key. I always thought that I was coming to un the university just to learn. And I think what I took away from it most was the relationships I built with people um, and uh, the relationships at which I've been able to maintain. So I'm, I'm very excited and um, honored for the award and I, I look forward to coming back to campus as well.